I mean, it's just everything. As yeah. Per usual. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, let me get a song queued up before we go live. Or if you want to go live and... We're live, I'm just... Oh, okay. To... <laughs> let me get a song ready. For some reason, it's live in... Twitch, but... Well, all right, so we don't need we don't need to do all the request links. Um, no, okay. Yeah, because I well, it's totally separate. Gotcha. Um, Van Halen, while we wait. Trying to start on an upbeat note. Hell yeah. We just had um, my sister's birthday last week. She was born in 1984, and uh, I loved, absolutely loved that song in 1984. Like, I was (laughs) three years old, air guitaring, jumping off the couch when that song came out. All right, so so we're live. Are we actually live live? We are live live. All right. Cool. Um, sorry for all the troubleshooting there, everybody. Let me get my camera going. Okay, now that's one. If you want to ping all the various discords and stuff. Yeah. All right, y'all. A uh, little change of plans. We had some technical difficulties. But we are still doing Rocksmith Live. We're doing Rock Show Live. Um, can't quite do the requests as I wanted. So if you have a band you want to hear, let us know. Uh, Travis will be taking requests, and we'll see if Rocksmith has it. If they don't, we'll try to find something similar. That said, let's kick this party off. Jump, jump, 
Never get tired of that song. It's so good. Yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic. It's a classic. Wonderful performance. Not bad. Ninety-five percent. That's not bad at all. Uh, no, I don't want to play it again. <laughs> hey, uh, Tyra, reset her password. All right, nice work. Good job. <laughs> Gold star. All right, let's see what else we can find here. Uh, um, I've got? got a re I've got a request for you from me. Go um, for it. Yeah, uh, I love All My Life from the Foo Fighters. All My Life? Let's see if they have it. I think they do. I think so. You also run into your password keeper, unlike the last time. Good work, Tyra. See, that's called growth. Nope. Uh, nope? Let's see. Oh, bummer. Uh, Let me see if we got Foo Fighters, though. Cause... Nope, hold on. Uh... It is a good song. It might be my favorite Foo Fighters track. Okay, and yeah, unfortunately, no Foo Fighters here. Oh, bummer. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, like I said, uh, we had some technical difficulties with Rocksmith 2014, so we had to switch over to Rocksmith Plus, which has a great library, but doesn't have a ton of song. doesn't have every song out there as of yet. Sure. So uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Ooh, Fiend. There's a good one. Where? Uh, Coal Chamber. Coal Chamber, Fiend. Yeah. Oh, Fiend. Okay. One of my favorite Cookie Monster sounding. Uh, oh yeah, no, I love I love this song. I'm, I mean, I love I love Cold Chamber like unabashedly. Oh no, they were they were awesome. Very uh, new metal, but yeah, oh sure. But, but I mean, I'm <laughs> a child metal. of that era, so like new metal. Oh yeah, speaks yeah, yeah, me. yeah, absolutely. All right, so so good thing is I have my drop pedal, so I can easily just drop tune without having to do a bunch of crazy changes, although Rocksmith does have a pitch shifter on it now. So nice. That's pretty cool. I wish I could get Rocksmith to work with my audio interface. I, I just need to like take some time to mess with it, it. The Rocksmith Plus does. Um, I don't mm. have it set up like that now, but it has it natively. Rocksmith 2014, you have although to do I, a lot of tinkering to get working. <laughs> I wonder if my... Uh... I'll have to test. All right. Oh, 
Excellent performance. Oof, not, bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Oh, I keep hitting play again. Uh, so yeah, we're taking requests, everyone. If you got something you want to play here, we'll see if we got it. Let us know. I'm going to adjust uh, my camera up just a little bit here. Sure. I forgot what bass are you rocking, by the way? So I'm rocking a uh, Schecter Riot four-string. Nice. Um, I also have a Warwick five-string that I may bring out later, depending on songs and stuff. Ooh, but five-string uh, fancy. Oh yeah, uh, I am a rock bass player. I am a ro metal musician, so I have to have the drop drop pedals. Let's see what else we got here. That's the uh, thing I don't have yet is any kind of, I mean, I barely learned how to play mine, but like, I don't have any pedals or anything yet. Right. I do have a tuner though. And oh, that's man. important. Tuner is more, <laughs> more important than important. anything else you got. <laughs> I do have, I, I like my bass. I like the feel of it. I just haven't, mm -hmm. I just need to spend more time with it. Same with my drums. Like I've got a drum set that I love. I just need to... My problem is I'm tall, and so I need a tall drum stool right. to play the drums because I got to get my hips up above my knees, and that's the biggest problem that I have. Yeah. But if I can, if I can get something like that, then I can practice with that a lot more. Uh, let's see. I know they got. I know they got some Metallica songs on here. I think that's what we'll go for next. I was thinking that. Yeah. Do they have like uh, any old school stuff like for, for whom the bell tolls? Oh, that's right. I think Metallica's. You know what? We got uh, whiskey in a jar. So we'll go with that. That's a good one. I like whiskey in a jar. Yeah, um, yeah. I think some of their songs are regional, unfortunately. That'll happen. 
It's a good one though. I like uh, I like this cover. Yeah, absolutely. This was a funny story, real quick, before uh, you get started as you're tuning up. Um, Go for it. Metallica was playing a show and they brought uh, one of the band members of um, I can't think of the name now uh, that played Whiskey in the Jar that wrote it. Was it Steely Dan? Not Steely Dan. Not Steely Dan. Um, the boys are back in town. Whiskey in the Jar. Who? I mean, Whiskey um, in the Jar is a traditional Irish song, but like, right? They brought this dude out for a show, and I just remember seeing an interview with him where he was talking about that, and he was like. Yeah, they all thought I knew I knew who they were. I had no idea who they were. <laughs> like this dude was just like, I had no idea who Metallica was. I didn't care, but they all assumed that he did, and it was just really funny. All right, whiskey in the jar. Here we go. I haven't heard this song in a minute. I love this album though. Garage Inc. was good. Garage Inc. was a good album. A lot of good covers on there. A lot of classic ones. <laughs> So I want to do the full challenge on this one. The cool thing about this game is it starts you at a certain level and you can progress, but. So 
Some Metallica whiskey in the jar performance at uh, Digital Media Decon ninety eight point five Classic Rock Station. Thin Lizzy, that's who I was thinking, trying to think of. Thin Lizzy Thin was Lizzy. the band. You, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I just like the the name was just like it disappeared from my head. Um, well, now let's yeah, that's a that's a great track and. Uh, and Metallica's cover of it was great. Like, and there's sort of the three phases of Metallica, right? There's the Cliff Burton era, the Jason Newstead, and then, um, and then, and now Robert Chirillo. Yeah. Which, and the thing about Robert Chirillo is he is incredible. He is such a good bass player. Oh yeah, he's a he's an absolute sick bass player. Like it's unfortunate that he has to be on a couple of their albums that are not great. Mm -hmm. Although they some of their newer stuff is not bad. No, it's just it's also it's a different time now. Like yeah, they're older men. They're not going to be screaming about leather and drinking all the time. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> like band people evolve and change. Which uh, I'm fine with. Like I didn't have a problem with them uh, evolving in the '90s with Load and Reload and all of that. See, stuff. I still, and, and, and I still say Load and Reload. If any other band had done those albums, they would have been like hugely famous. Oh, you know? for sure. But because it was Metallica, they were seen as failures. Right. You know, I don't love like Saint Anger for me isn't great, but they they somehow were able to pull out of that dive and do some good stuff after St. Anger, which well, the, is the impressive. The problem with St. Anger wasn't, wasn't the songwriting, it was, it was the production. And yeah. They basically, that was their therapy album. Kind of, yeah. That's that true. Was their That's a good I mean, point. They, held, they made a whole documentary about trying to go through therapy. So Yeah. Bobby, era, Bobby says, uh, the Cliff Burton, Jason Newstead, and suing our fans for using Napster era. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a good point, Bobby. <laughs> well, to be fair, that was, they were suing their fans during the Newstead area. They were, they were. That's that's uh, why he that's why he got mixed out of uh, Injustice for All. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for him for that. Any Red Hot Chili Peppers? Oh, we could do some Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, let's see if they I got was, it. I was thinking about being mean and requesting some Primus, but uh, we can we can start off with some Flea. We can go some so... easier slap bass. <laughs> so funny, I've done this in my stream before and. People have requested Primus. Oh, no, let's see. Hold on. Let's see if I can. Uh... It's Primus is the one where you're like, I just, I just want to be mean to the bass player. Well, the funny thing was, so yeah, someone requested Primus, and so I, I put it on like, they, they requested. Um, uh, Jerry was a race car driver, mm -hmm. and so I put it on like the easiest difficulty so i i i, I called it as uh, jerry's matchbox car <laughs> <laughs> i mean because uh, like honestly less claypool base that's not fair that dude is an alien the thing is a lot like and let me put it this way like a lot of his stuff 
if if you break it down, is it's not that hard. Te- like it's it's different techniques. Don't get me wrong. Sure. But it's, but it's just the speed and the precision in which he does it. That's it, right? Is like what just is just insane. That's what separates like the great players from the decent players is they can do those things, but they like Neil Peart, right? Yeah. Amazing drummer, but his thing was precision and speed. He hit everything exactly when he needed to. He also did it ridiculously difficult, but like that right. was the thing that set him apart was that precision, that speed. That's why like I love um Okay, Chad's... so no chili peppers, unfortunately. That's why I love Chad Sexton from uh from three eleven <laughs> and actually Peanut from three eleven too, for the same reasons, because they're they're just they're always on it. Since you mentioned them, I did see we do have some 311 on here. So let's oh, go. I mean, you got some 311. Give me some 311. Yeah, uh, pick one. Uh, man, do they have You Wouldn't Believe? I don't know if they do or not. No, it looks like they've got... Three, I guess there are three of Let's see. Applied Science. Let's see. Let's um, I mean, honestly, anything 311 is good for me. I just love it. All right. Uh, let's just do this on. Okay. Uh, Oh, this is a chart. Okay, now we can. So they have charts and then they have tabs. Oh, gotcha. And so kind of, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, yeah. Let me filter out. Let's uh, let me add some changes. Yeah. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. Nice. Probably gonna, oh, this is expert. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go peanuts. Back. I'm gonna go 50 percent on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Peanuts one of my favorite bass players going right now. And yeah. the thing I love about 311, they've stayed the same lineup for 20 something years, and they're still doing it. They're right. still putting out good stuff. Like if you listen to some of their newer stuff, it's still really good. All right, here we go. 311, baby. All right, hopefully I don't butcher this too badly. <laughs> Actually, hold on. I got to change one thing here. I just realized something's missing from my scene. No worries. This would be a great, by the way... Um, use case for the the elgato pedal yeah to have that to stomp on to change your scenes would be would be awesome like that'd be perfect use for it no that's something i definitely want to invest in um let's see well hey set up that patreon and we'll send people over there (laughs) i do have a couple things i do have a uh oh make sure uh you you plug the uh the make a wish. The make a wish in there. So yeah, uh, guys. Running on uh, the bottom. I got it. I got it running. There's a link running on the sure. bottom of the screen, folks, right. for so, Make a Wish Georgia. Yep. Site.wish.org/slash/go/to/slash/stream/atlanta. Check it out. Yeah. So uh, first off, uh, we because uh, I teamed up again. I teamed up with Stream Atlanta. Our initial goal was 2K, which we crushed the, uh, in our first week nice uh oh and thank you tyra so um we have a little kind of side bet with the mods from stream atlanta um if uh so basically what you do is you when you put in your name you can put in a type of game you like uh like fps shooters gotcha games so on and so forth uh so my pick for games is rhythm games and whoever uh, who are, if you when you put in your name, just put in whichever you want. If you want to do it for me, put rhythm games. 
Uh, if you want to put other games, I don't care. I care more about the donations, but I would like to get the mods to play a rhythm game on stream. <laughs> or you can, do, yeah, or you can put team podcasters and they they have to go on Bobby Blackwell's show. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of, by the way, speaking of getting on shows, Bobby, I got to talk to you about coming on my show sometime. I've been meaning to do that. And I keep forgetting. All right. Hashtag shameless pollution. All right, here we go. Doing the 311 thing. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Can already tell this is going to be way more difficult. So we're going <laughs> to back this down. Sometimes you need to. I know my skill level, and uh, I, it's not there. <laughs> Especially when it's a song you haven't heard. That tr that's that true. That's true. Well. guys have been around for it's crazy like, it's crazy to think about that like this song came out performance was it 94 it's crazy to think that like because i remember the first time i heard 311 it was down i was at a friend of mine's house yep and i remember my initial reaction was I didn't like it because it was so different from what I had heard at that point. Right. And it didn't take long for me to realize, no, these guys are great. And then, then you find out they've had the same lineup since then. Like, if there was ever an endorsement for just 
being chill and smoking weed, that would be 311. <laughs> right. Because that's all they do, and they've just been doing it for 30 years. <laughs> um, it works. <laughs> all right, we're going next with some Three Doors Down Kryptonite. I know we've all heard this one before. This was a big one in the 90s as well. Yeah, it was. So you may not hear it, but this is actually a cover song. This is one thing, you know, one problem with a game like this is you got to deal with the music licensing and, and record labels and all that. Right? Oh, yeah. So basically what uh, Rocksmith did is they made cover songs, versions of a lot of these popular songs. Then you're just paying the mechanical royalties or the light, you just pay the licensing. But you don't have to worry about the mechanical royalties and all that stuff. Yeah, I noticed that with uh, Jump. But yeah. this one sounds a lot more like Three uh, three Doors Down. I mean, to be fair, you're trying to get someone to... Uh, and no, no disrespect to Three Doors Down, but trying to get someone to sing like David Lee Roth. Oh, that's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. <laughs> For sure. Um, and not because he's a great singer, but because of he's David Lee Roth. Yeah, it's a distinct sound. Well, and the, ir the irony is uh, the record label almost didn't sign Van Halen because of that. Like, I can see that. They, they love, you know, they love the, the, the Van Halen brothers, but they didn't like Dave, David Lee Roth. So but they got him, but I guess they got him to relent and still sign him anyway. I mean, honestly, at a point, the Van Halen brothers didn't like David Lee Roth, so kind of makes sense. <laughs> Did that last part again? I said it kind of makes sense because at, at some point, the Van Halen brothers didn't really like David Lee Roth much. Well, right. It's just, it's just amazing because people wouldn't have heard of Van Halen. Almost didn't. You know, yeah. Eddie Van Halen's a you know, now a legendary guitarist. And you wouldn't have heard eruption if it wasn't for David. You almost didn't hear an eruption through the David Lee Roth. It is pretty crazy. Oh, that's a song that just doesn't get old. No. Great playing. Kind of incredible to think that the vocalist for that was the drummer, and he almost wasn't the vocalist. Oh, really? But it, it's funny because I forget that, like, because I was listening to um, an interview with Kim Thale of Soundgarden. Uh -huh. And he was he was talking about early Soundgarden days when Chris Cornell was the drummer, right? And they just figured out that he was a really good vocalist, and he transitioned from behind the drum kit to being the front man. Right. Let's see what else we got here. I mean, if we're on a classic rock kick. 
I feel like we have to play more than a feeling. <laughs> sort of a contractual obligation. Squishy Twitchy, what's up? Welcome aboard. Hey, Squishy. Finally a break. When I'm tired and can go, I hide in my music, forget the day, and dream of a girl I used to know. I close my eyes and she slipped away. badly nah not too bad that's a tough one that's a, some of these songs are a lot tougher than you would think mm -hmm. well there's so many subtle like you probably saw in that one is there's like a subtle like you know it's like like a really quick like da -da -da -da. 
Yep. Which is kind of tough to fret if you're not eight. ready for it. <laughs> that's not terrible. 78%. For a first time, for a first time, that's not Yeah, bad. that's reasonable. All right. Uh, so we got, I think we got time for like two more songs. Unless uh, we get some more requests in. Uh, but this sure, has been yeah. a good time. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do a selfish song of my own. Do it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What do I want to play? This one is about a mountain nope, nope, built nope, upon nope. Nope. Uh, let's see. I saw. Hold on. Oh, I'm grab my song title. That's why. Ah. <laughs> we'll do a uh, do an Amon Amara song. I saw it here. Where'd it go? Oh wait, let me make sure I got. High. There you go. Uh, I was trying to think of some metal bands, and I thought oh, Dream Theater, but no, I don't want to make you play like a twelve-minute song. Yeah. Uh. Okay, looks like the song was a. You know what? We're gonna do. We'll do Disturbed. Let's do in, in Disturbed. So we're in drop C. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, what you got, Travis? So you got one oh, more. Yeah, I'll I'll do it after this. Okay. Yeah, hopefully uh, next time we do this, I'll have Rocksmith 2014 up, so we'll have a much wider selection of songs to choose from. Sure. Um, if people want to see this again, if I didn't butcher myself too badly. <laughs> Uh, but I do normally do well. I'm bringing back Rocksmith streams on my stream, twitchtv slash is for life. So if you want nice. to check me out there. You can also do music creation and other stuff. Uh, bump this up just a little bit. The problem when it, it's a little too less is it it only it cuts off like half a part, so it feels really awkward. <laughs> uh, we can play Ario and Journey if they've got it. So don't don't feel like you have to do metal or anything like that. I accept all music. Disturbed is one of those everybody talks about their cover of the Sound of Silence, which is incredible. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But their their cover of Land of Confusion, I think is better. Oh, absolutely. I, the Land of Confusion is much better. I think the song of Silence is kind of overrated. Like, it's not a bad cover, but I don't think it's as great as people make it out to be. I mean, fun fact, uh, when they're first, I, I 
bought their first album, Sickness, when I was in college, the first one. And I and this was, you know, back when CDs were I wore the hell out of that CD. This was like one of my favorite bands of all time. Oh yeah, they're great. When they've had staying power. I love the, love, oh yeah. I just, uh, I love David Draymond's voice. He has a great voice. So yeah, this he, is, this is the bass. It's, that's a good looking bass. I love the great, neck. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's Here are your starting pickup, stats. I love. Um, I love Schecter stuff. I have two of their guitars. Nice. Um, they're good quality instruments that aren't like break the bank expensive. All right. So, Travis, you said you got one more? Yeah, I got one more. Uh, I want to hear some uh, filter. Hey, man, nice shot. Filter. All right, let's see if we got let's that. see if they got that. Uh... Fun fact that someone, some may know about filter. Uh, filter's uh, main guy, Richard Patrick, mm -hmm. just happens to be the brother of the T-1000, Robert Patrick. Oh, nice. Uh, looks like we don't have fil filter, ironically enough. Huh. No filter. I know that was on 2014. <laughs> ah, that'll happen. Oh, wait. Let's... I've got the RS Playlists website up here, but that one I think is more geared towards 2014. Yeah, that's for 2014, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Wait, there was something I spotted earlier that I think would be a good song. You know what? I know. I, I, I get this. I get this. 
I think I got this. Uh, let's see. All right, we're gonna do this is a good one. this is a good one to go, Mister Alice Cooper. No more, Mister Nice Guy. Nice, it's a good one. It's funny. Uh, he's been popping up in my feed this past week because one of the conferences I go to, Adepticon, which is a big Warhammer wargaming convention. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They just moved for next year. They're gonna be in Milwaukee. From uh, had been in Chicago for the last twenty years or something. Right. Um, and so they're moving, the, of Alice Cooper. <laughs> they're, they're moving for a better venue and a bigger venue. But because of that, everybody's posting memes of Alice Cooper from Wayne's World talking about Millie <laughs> Wauke. It's nice. cracking me up. Nice. So what do we got? No more Mr. Nice Guy? No more Mr. Nice Guy. Nice. That's what we're going to go out and stream on. But I want to thank everyone for tuning out. Travis, thank you for your help with this. Thank you for... For moderating and keeping Hell yeah, we'll do this again for sure. Yeah, I definitely want to do this again. Uh, we'll troubleshoot some things, get it more smooth next time, but this has been fun. Pixels are not supposed to go that high up on the net. What the hell? Once again, Tyra, Tyra, uh, TV Travis, start. Uh, Bobby Blackwolf, Squishy Twitchy. Thank you all for coming out and hanging out. Hope you guys had a great time. Uh, as Ew. always, I am Groovus for Life, and you guys have a good one and find your groove. Yeah. And, oh, uh, do we have anything going on next week? I don't know. Yeah, okay. I'm sure something's going on, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Okay, well, if uh, 
if uh, we don't have anything on Dragon Con, you can come see me next week. I'll be streaming next Wednesday, uh, probably about eight, probably about the same time, and we'll probably do Rocksmith again. <laughs> awesome. Have a good night, everybody.